Lesson 11.2 Classify Triangles We can classify triangles by the length of their sides or by the measures of their angles. We learned in the last video 11.1, which is linked in the description, that a regular polygon has congruent sides and congruent angles. We can classify triangles by their side lengths. An equilateral triangle has three congruent sides, so it's a regular polygon. Each side will be the same measure, and the little tick marks identify the congruent sides. So it's saying, because they all have one little tick mark, that they're all congruent to each other. Again, classifying by side lengths, an isosceles triangle has two congruent sides. So it's not a regular polygon. It doesn't have the same side lengths. It doesn't have the same angle measures. It's only got two sides that are the same. So it's not a regular polygon. The little tick marks identify the congruent sides. And a scalene triangle has sides that are all different lengths. It has zero congruent sides, and it is not a regular polygon. We can classify a triangle by angle measures. A right triangle has one 90 degree angle as one right angle. The little box symbol identifies the right angle. It is not a regular polygon. An acute triangle has three angles that are each less than 90 degrees. It is not a regular polygon. Their angles are little and cute. They're less than 90 degrees, so they're smaller. An obtuse triangle has one angle that measures greater than 90 degrees. It's not a regular polygon. And an obtuse triangle can't have more than one angle measure that's greater than 90 degrees because otherwise it wouldn't be a triangle. If it had two angles that were greater than 90 degrees, it wouldn't be a closed triangle. See? It wouldn't be a triangle at all. So it can only have one that is obtuse. We label polygons with capital letters going clockwise, A, B, C, clockwise, or counterclockwise. We can say A, B, C. We can even call this C, B, A. They're labeled by their vertices. The sum of the interior, that's inside angle measures of any triangle, is 180 degrees. And since an equilateral triangle has three congruent sides and three congruent angles, we can find the angle measures with division. They all have 180 degrees. We do 180 degrees divided by three, the three angle measures, and that's 60 degrees each. To classify, we start by measuring and counting the number of sides of equal length. We can take a ruler and we can measure each side. We see this is two centimeters and this is two centimeters. It's got two equal sides. That means it's isosceles. After we determine the number of congruent sides, we measure each angle. We get a protractor and we measure each angle. We find this one is 90 degrees, this one's 45 degrees, and this one's 45 degrees. So we found it was isosceles. It has a 90 degree angle, so it's also a right angle. It's a right isosceles triangle. It's a right triangle. We learned how to measure and draw angles using a protractor in fourth grade math 11.3. And if you missed that, or it was a long time ago and you don't remember, it's linked in the description so you can watch it quickly. So to classify triangles, the first thing we do is measure the sides and find the number of congruent sides. Is it an equilateral, isosceles, or scalene? Then the second thing we do is measure each angle with a protractor and determine what type of angles it has. Is it an acute, right, or obtuse triangle? We can classify triangles by given side measures and angle measures. We don't even need a picture. 
we're given that the sides are 22 centimeters, 14 centimeters, and 12 centimeters. And the angles are 110 degrees, 40 degrees, 30 degrees. And the sides are all different lengths. And it has an angle measure greater than 90 degrees. That means because the sides are all different lengths, it's scaling. It has an angle larger than 90 degrees. It's obtuse. It's an obtuse scaling triangle. Here's a triangle. It has sides that are 6 feet, 3 feet, and 6 feet. That's a big triangle. And the angles are 75 degrees, 30 degrees, and 75 degrees. And two sides have the same length. And two angles have the same measure. And all the angles are less than 90 degrees. It's an acute isosceles triangle. It's got two sides that are the same and two angles that are the same. That makes it isosceles isosceles, and because all the measures are less than 90 degrees, it's acute. The corner of a sheet of paper can be lined up to an angle to see if an angle is greater, equal, or less than the corner. We have this brown triangle, we line this yellow paper up, and we can see how this angle is sticking out from the side of the paper. The corner would be 90 degrees. That means that this angle is greater than 90 degrees. And look at this angle. It's going underneath the paper. We know this one is less than 90 degrees. We know that this angle is obtuse. And we would know this angle is acute. The sum of the interior angle measures of any triangle is 180 degrees. This means that we can find a missing angle measure by subtracting the two known measures from 180 degrees. If we know that this is a 75 degree angle and that's a 75 degree angle, and we don't know what that one is, we can add 75 plus 75. That's equal to 150 degrees. They're all supposed to be 180. We subtract the 150. We know that that angle is 30 degrees. Angle B is 30 degrees. Our next lesson, 11.3, is about quadrilaterals. We're going to classify and compare them. I hope you stay safe and have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.